Our special guest for this entire hour, criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor and the attorney for Justice Smollett, Tamara Walker, joins me now. Tamara, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for having me, Michael. It's always great to be on your show. I appreciate it. All right, it is certainly our pleasure. And I know these are difficult times for you, uh, representing Jussie. So let's start off with some of the practical things in terms of, uh, as far as you know, um, how is Jussie holding up? Well, you know, <laughs> a jail sentence is always a shock for anyone who has led a crime-free life, especially someone like Mr. Smollett, who's been a constant activist. So he's holding up as, as well as he possibly can under circumstances that few can imagine. All right. Now, where exactly is he being held right now? There's lots of different reports about where he is. Again, to the best of your ability, there are a number of attorneys representing him. So I know there's limited information going back and forth sometimes. Uh, but what can you tell us about where he's being held right now? Well, you know, I don't want to disclose exactly where because that's a security issue with the Cook County Sheriff's Office. But we are working to make sure that he is held in the most safe way possible, that's safe for himself, other inmates, and his mental stability. All right, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about the mental stability and this protective custody. Uh, at the very least, we know that that was ordered by the judge. So if you can enlighten our viewers what exactly it means to be held in protective custody. What, what is the day-to-day -day like for him under those circumstances? Right. Well, you know, the Cook County Sheriff's Office released a statement that explained exactly what protective custody looked like. And in their explanation, they provided that he would be in a cell by himself, that he would obviously be allowed time outside of that cell, but it would be without the presence of other inmates and that he would be under monitor by a sheriff's deputy. So while it is definitely designed and aimed to make certain that he's safe, it's also somewhat isolating. And that's what we were referring to in our emergency motion to the appellate court regarding you know, a stay on the jail sentence or for him to be able to post bail while the appeal is pending. Tamara, I want to play some sound from his brother, Jackie, Jackie Smollett. Uh, he, yesterday, he talked about him being in a psych ward, and there were some concerns. I want to play that, and I want a couple of questions for you. So Jesse is currently in a psych ward um, at Cook County Jail. It's, what's very concerning is that there was a note attached to his paperwork today and put on the front of his um, jail cell saying that he's at risk of self-harm. I want to just make it clear to folks that he is in no way, shape, or form at risk of self-harm. Um, and he wants to let folks know that, that he is, and he is very stable, he is very strong, he is very healthy and ready to take on the challenge that ultimately has been put up against him. All right, so how much of that can you verify for us in terms of both the fact that there was this note put on that he was at risk for self-harm, but that is not the case, and in fact he is holding up well? Well, you know, the sheriff's office uh, is very reluctant to release a lot of details. And, and that's mindfully so that, you know, they don't pose any security risk for anyone involved. But I would say that his family has been absolutely amazing. All right, looks like we lost Tamara there uh, for a second. We'll do everything we can uh, to get her back. Um, in the meantime, why don't we go to a quick break while we work on those technical uh, issues that we're having. When we come back, we're going to discuss the judge in this case. Many of you sat here right here on my show uh, during the sentencing when the judge really went on and on for about an hour uh, talking about this case, uh, justifying the sentence that he was going to give Justice Smollett. And uh, Tamara will talk to us about that whole situation when we return. So keep it right here on Court TV, your front row seat. Enjoy.